Hi everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. On my channel here, I make a lot of crochet patterns and tutorials. And in today's video, I'm taking you to the basics of crochet. So this video is all about how to crochet for absolute beginners. So if you're someone who has never crocheted before, but would like to learn crochet, then this video is for you. Now, if you see the crochet patterns out there, be the very simple ones or the complicated ones, all of the patterns are made with a few basic stitches or a slight modification or a combination of the basic stitches. And in this video, we'll be learning how to crochet the basic stitches. So once you learn the basic stitches, you can attempt almost any crochet pattern out there. So here in this video, I'm going to divide the video into a few sections so that it is easy for you to navigate. So what I'll do is I will start with the basic supplies that you'd require as a beginner. Then we'll see how to make a slip knot. Uh, we'll be also seeing how to hold the yarn and the hook. And then we'll go through the basic stitches. So we'll start with single crochet. Sorry, we'll start with chain stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and triple crochet. So these are the few basic stitches in crochet and towards the end we will do a comparison of the stitches just so that you understand how each stitch is different from the other and then I'll also take you through a few patterns like I'll just give you uh, once you learn the basic stitches what next so how can you start your crochet with the basic stitches so I'll just give you a rough guideline which all patterns you can attempt once you learn the basic stitches so this is how the flow of the video is going to be and I'll be putting the sections in the time sorry the timestamps in the description box so if you are looking for one particular stitch you can go right there in the timestamp click on it and go right to the basic stitches so that you can avoid all the things that are redundant to you it might just be a clutter if you are just looking for a particular stitch so do check the description box for the timestamp okay now let's start with the supplies so for the supplies here you would require very very basic things so you would require a yarn a hook and a pair of scissors now if you are a beginner i would recommend that you get yourself a medium four weight acrylic yarn now why a medium four weight it's because there are different kinds of yarn. There are thin yarns, there are thick yarns. Uh, but for a beginner, I would say it would be better to use a medium weight yarn. So if you see the label here, it says a four. So this is four means a medium four weight yarn. It is neither too thick nor too thin. So this is the ideal yarn that you can use for as a beginner. Now each country has a different collection of yarn. So if you are from someone from US, the medium four weight yarn, you can find it in Red Heart or in uh, Karen yarns. If you are from UK, you can try paint box yarn. If you are from India, you can uh, use Ganga Alicia. So all of these yarn links I'll put in the description box so that you can understand what exactly I'm referring to. This is ice yarns. This is a medium four weight yarn. Now, once you choose your yarn, okay, now yarn also, try to get an acrylic yarn because as a beginner, you will be doing a lot of undoing also. So each time you make a mistake, you might just unravel it. So acrylic yarn is a kind of yarn that will hold the shape better even with multiple usages. Uh, apart from acrylic yarn, you can have cotton, you can have wool, uh, bamboo, there are a lot of varieties. So go with an acrylic yarn, it is much more cheaper also okay and preferably a light color do not go and take a black color because it will be very difficult to see the stitches and uh, get yourself a non-textured a plain simple boring looking yarn that is what we require here okay so that is with respect to yarn now when it comes to hook you have to refer to the yarn so each yarn comes with a recommended hook size now for a medium four weight yarn it has been given as a 5 mm crochet hook. It has, uh, it will be mentioned in the yarn itself. So I'm using a 5 mm or size edge. This is from Clover. Size edge 5 mm crochet hook is what I'm using. You can use something with handle or something without a handle. Both will be fine. 
then of course a pair of scissors make sure that it is sharp enough now these are only the things that you'd require for this uh, video but if you are planning to do crochet on a very serious note uh, you would be requiring a yarn needle or a darning needle it has a very large eye so this is something that you would require as and when you do more and more crochet projects i'm not going to use a darning needle here okay so these are the supplies let's start with the slip knot now before we start the slip knot i would also like to mention that when it comes to crochet there are two different terminologies one is your us terminology the other is your uk terminology whichever terminology that you're going to use uh, the stitches will be done the same way it's just that each stitch will be referred to by a different name so on my channel here i only use us terminology but in this video i'm going to put out both the us and the uk terminology for the stitches all right now let's start with the slip knot so we'll start this with a slip knot so to make a slip knot you take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an x once you have that we are going to pull the working yarn through the loop that is there on our finger. Now if you see here, this part of the yarn is called your tail end. So this is towards the very end. And this yarn that goes and attaches itself to the ball, this is called your working yarn. So I'm going to pull the working yarn through the loop that is there on my finger. So what I'll do is, I'll take this loop out first and then I'll pull the working yarn through this loop. Okay, so I'm just using my finger and I'll just pull it out like this. So this here is your slip knot. It's a very simple knot and this knot is to attach the yarn to the hook. So I'll show you once again. Now if you want to undo this, all you have to do is you have to just pull on both of these ends so you can see it becomes undone, okay? So I'll show you once again. So take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, you take this loop out and then Pull your working yarn through this loop. So this is lying here. I'll just bring it to the middle so that it is easier to pull it out. So with my finger, I'm just pulling it out. Okay, so this here is your slip knot. Once you have that, you take your hook, put your hook through the loop that we have just made and then pull on both the ends of this yarn. So this will go and attach it to the hook. Okay, so there our slip knot is done. Now when you're attaching it, when you're pulling it, don't pull it too tight. Uh, it should be tight enough to be able to hold properly. It should be able to glide. The yarn should be able to glide over the hook, but not very tight and not very loose. If it is very loose, it will come out. If it is very tight, then the yarn will not move. So this here is your slip knot. Okay, now let's see how to hold the yarn and the hook. So for the holding of the yarn and the hook there are two ways so the first way is like a knife hold or a knife grip so you hold the hook like a knife something like this and the second way is to hold it like a pen or a pencil the way you hold a pen or a pencil that's how you do it this is called your pencil grip or your pencil hold now i uh, prefer i'm most comfortable with the knife hold so i will be using the knife hold method uh, I will say that uh, just try out both the methods and whatever you are comfortable with, you can stick with that. Now, if you find some other method to hold the hook and you're comfortable with it, just stick with it. These are just the two popular methods. Now, let's see how to hold the yarn. Now, now when it comes to holding the yarn, there are different methods. I'll show you the method that I follow. So, this is how I like to hold my yarn. This is the end. I'll bring it between my ring finger and my little pinky finger. I'll turn my hand like this and I will pull the yarn between these two fingers like this and wrap it once and hold it with my thumb and my uh, middle finger. I'll show you once again. So I'll show it with the help of a slip knot so that it is much more clearer. So I'll just first of all make a slip knot and now I'll show it with the help of the slip knot okay so this is how I like to do I'll take the yarn I'll pass it between the ring finger and the pinky finger turn over my hand now I'll bring this yarn between these two fingers wrap it once like this and turn now with the thumb 
and my middle finger I'm going to catch hold of this uh, yeah that is there on the hook you can see this is the knot so this is how I like to hold my yeah now if you want if you find this very difficult what you can do is this is another method you you just need your thumb here rotate it once so I have just passed my hook between the thumb sorry between the uh, pointing finger and the middle finger like this I will just loop it once okay and when I come back I'm going to use my thumb and the middle finger to hold the slip knot so this is another way of holding the yarn whichever is comfortable you can uh, do that but I will say that if these two are methods are you are not comfortable with it just go around you can just type uh, type in how to hold the yarn there are n there are different methods of holding a yarn each one will come up with a different method so if you are a beginner just try out different methods and whatever is comfortable for you you can stick with that i'll show once again how i like to hold my yarn i'll take it through these two fingers flip over pull out the yarn once bring it over and with the help of a thumb and the middle finger i'll hold my uh, slip knot okay and when you're doing this make sure this is very straight that is you if you if you uh, keep it with bit floppy your stitches will be very loose if you are holding it very tight your stitches will be very tight so try to find a balance this should be straight okay so that is how we hold the yarn and the hook now we'll start with how to do the chain stitch Okay, so for a chain stitch again, we are going to start with a slip knot. I'll hold it like a knife hold. That is what I'm going to uh, do. And then I'll again position my hand like this. Okay, so I'm ready. Now we'll start with the chain stitch. So for a chain stitch, you keep uh, your hook and your uh, yarn parallel to each other. Once you're done, you go towards your left. You take your yarn, you take your hook under your yarn something like this okay so i'm this i'm keeping it parallel i'm going left i'm going under the yarn and now i'm going to hook the yarn on the hook here you can see the hook is facing up so this will hook up the yarn and now i'm going to pull this yarn through the small loop that is there between the slip knot and the loop so you see i'm just going to pull the yarn like this there so this is our first chain stitch okay I'll show again so this is our first chain stitch I'm just going to uh, pinch my fingers on the chain stitch here just uh, at the start of the stitch that is on the hook okay that there is that is where I'm going to pinch with the help of my thumb and my middle finger now to make a chain stitch go left go under your yarn now hook the yarn on the hook and pull the yarn through so there should be a little bit gap so as to pull the yarn so this here is my second chain stitch we'll do that again so hold it parallel go left go under your yarn now hook the yarn on your hook so try to keep the hook always facing up and then pull your yarn through this loop so if you if if you're not able to pull it just try to keep it towards your left so that there is some gap to take your yarn out like this so here are three chain stitches are done one two three you can put a few more chain stitches i'll do that again so go left go under your yarn and pull your yarn through so this is my fourth chain stitch we'll do that again so hold it parallel go left go under your yarn hook up the yarn and then pull it through so if you see if i'm keeping it very tight you will not be able to pull your yarn through so what you can do is just uh, take your hand towards your left so as there is a little bit gap that is there and try to loosen your hands if you are holding it very tightly the yarn will not move so relax uh, let it go just keep it a little bit loose and then do it so go left go under your yarn Keep it loose, nice and loose, and then pull your yarn through. So the more you tighten it, so if you see here, go left, go under, and then when you, if it is very tight, if you're holding on very tight and there is no gap, you cannot pull your yarn through. So make sure that it is quite loose so as to pull your yarn. So like this, you can make a couple of 
stitches if you want you can make a very long chain stitch and when you're done you can stop so this is how you make your chain stitches all right now let's move on to the single crochet now before that i'm just going to make 10 chain stitch and i'll cut it off and we'll start with a single crochet all right so here I have made my 10 chain stitches. I'm just going to cut my yarn so as I can have a comparison towards the end. So my plan is to make 10 single crochet, 10 uh, half double crochet like that. So I'm just starting with 10 chain stitch. Okay, so I've cut my yarn. This is how my 10 chain stitches is. You can see very clearly there is kind of a V stitch here going. You don't have to cut it. I'm just cutting it just so, so that I can show it later. Uh, to have a more comparison with the other stitches okay now we'll start with the single crochet so let's see how to make the single crochet now single crochet stitch is the us terminology the corresponding uk terminology will be double crochet so let's see how to make this so here again i'm going to start with a slip knot and here i will make 11 chain stitch so make your 11 chain stitch and then meet me once you are done with 11 chain stitch so if you want you can pause the video here and make your 11 chain stitch so this is one two three four five now if you see i'm not uh, pinching my hook every stitch because i am quite used to it but if you are a beginner after every stitch you may have to move your thumb but i'm quite comfortable with a few stitches before i move my thumb so i'll make a few more eight nine i'll just give it a count I'm starting with 11 chain stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Alright, so here I have got my 11 chain stitch. Now if you see here, it is quite evenly balanced chain stitch. Now as a beginner, you may or may not have such a balanced evenly placed chain stitch. It's not a big deal. Uh, it will come, it will all come with practice. Okay, so let's see how to make the single crochet. Now if you see here, we have 11 chain stitch. For the single crochet, I'm going to skip the very first chain stitch and insert my hook into the second chain stitch from the hook. Not You will not be counting this loop as a stitch, okay? You should not count this. The stitch next to it, we are going to skip. So this is the first stitch and this here is my second stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into the second stitch from the hook like this, okay? Then I'm going to pull up the working yarn. So I'm going to hook the working yarn and pull it through just the first loop like this okay now I have two loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over that is I'm going to go and grab my I'm going to go under the yarn and hook it up this is called yarn over and I'm going to pull the working yarn through both these loops like this so this here is my single crochet like this we are going to make one full row of single crochet so I insert my hook into the next stitch as well. Now if you see here, it is like a V. So each chain stitch is like a V. I'm just going to insert my hook and catch just the top strand. So there is a top strand, there is a bottom strand like a V. Actually one chain stitch is made up of three loops. If you see here, there is a top, there is a bottom. And if you flip over, there is the third stitch that is running along. This is your back loop. So each chain stitch is made with three loops but when we are doing here we are just going to go between the V and catch only the top loop okay so that is what we are going to do for your single crochets all right so I'll just start again so one single crochet has been done go to the next chain stitch insert your hook onto that stitch and then go and catch your working yarn and pull your working yarn only through one stitch just just the first stitch or first loop okay now you have two loops now you yarn over again so what is yarn over go left go under hook your working yarn and now you pull the working yarn through both these loops try to keep your hand loose so as to pull your yarn like this so this is my next single crochet like this I'm again going to the next stitch insert your hook pull up a loop through just one loop this loop only so I'm just going to pull my yarn through one loop okay I have two loop left I'll yarn over so I'm going to go left go under 
I'll just hook my yarn here and pull through both the loops. So this completes my next single crochet. Like this, I'm going to do one full row of single crochet. So insert your hook, pull up a loop. You'll have two loops, yarn over and pull through both. Now at any point you feel that you have made a mistake, you can totally correct it. All you have to do is take your hook out and pull your yarn out. So you can see it come, it gets undone and you can start from where you have stopped so even if you make a mistake you can totally correct it you just have to take your hook out and then just frog your work frogging is nothing but undoing your work so that is kind of a crochet terminology that we quite often use so uh, mistakes can be easily corrected when it comes to crochet so i'll show you once again how to do a single crochet insert your hook like this then pull up a loop so yeah you just have to hook it on the working yarn and pull it through just one loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through both so like this i'll just complete this row and since we had started with 11 chain stitch and we had skipped one stitch you will have a total of 10 single crochet Okay, so I have just one stitch left here. I'll do it again with you. So insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both the loops. Okay, so this completes one row of single crochet. Now at this point, I'm just going to cut, your, cut my yarn. Now if you want, you can just undo this and start again. Keep practicing. You need not cut it. I'm just cutting it because I just want to compare it okay next we'll start the half double crochet so let's see how to make a half double crochet now half double crochet is the US terminology if you are following the UK terminology this stitch will be known as your half treble crochet okay so let's see how to make this so for the half double crochet I have made a slip knot and I have put 11 chain stitch so if you want you can pause your video make a slip knot and make 11 chain stitch and meet me and we can start okay so as I said I have made 11 chain stitch we will start half double crochet now for half double crochet what we'll do is we will skip the first two chain stitches okay so this is one this is two I'm going to skip the first two chain stitch and I'll insert my hook into the third stitch from the hook you are never counting this as a stitch this is just a loop so from the hook one two and three this is my third stitch i'll insert my hook here now if you find difficulty in finding the third stitch from the hook you can count from here and find the third stitch okay so since we have made 11 chain stitch this will be nine so count from here the ninth chain stitch also so if you are a beginner you can do that as well okay so we we'll insert our hook now for a half double crochet before we insert our hook you always have to do yarn over so yarn over is nothing but go left go under your yarn so this is yarn over okay so you'll be hearing yarn over quite often so this is yarn over i'll show you again so go left go under your yarn like this so this is yarn over now skip the first two stitches one two insert your hook into the third stitch from the hook so one two and this is my third stitch i'm going to insert my hook just through the it is like a v so only the top loop now what you do is you pull your working yarn through the first loop that is there so yarn over and just pull your working yarn through the first loop okay now you see you have three loops on your hook now you have to yarn over again and pull your working yarn through all the three loops so we'll do that so yarn over and pull your working yarn through all the three loops so like this okay okay so we'll do that again so before you start a half double crochet you have to yarn over first then insert your hook into the next stitch so this stitch has been taken care of this is our next stitch so insert your hook into that stitch okay and then pull up a loop so just pull your working yarn through this loop only you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the three now if you cannot pull it in one go you can pull it one by one like this so through the first loop 
second loop and third loop so this also will work so this is our second half double crochet we will make another one so yarn over first insert your hook into that stitch and then pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is our next half double crochet like this i'm going to do one full row of half double crochets so we'll do that once more so you have to yarn over first insert your hook into that stitch right then pull up a loop you have three loops you have to yarn over and pull through all the three loops you can do it one by one or in one go so yarn over and pull it through all the three loops one two and three so this is our next half double crochet so like this you can repeat this till you reach the end of this round all right so this is my next half double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so i'll just finish this and then cut my yarn okay so i have reached almost the end of this i'll do that again once more with you so yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop you have three loops on your hook you yarn over and pull through all the three loops here okay so this is my last half double crochet so here we have completed one full row of half double crochet and i'm going to cut my yarn so i'll make a chain one and then cut my yarn off now if you see you should be having nine half double crochet and we had skipped two chain stitch in the very beginning so two chain stitch is actually a height of one half double crochet okay so if you see the strip here you can actually count the nine half double crochet so one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so here we have nine half double crochet and here we have a two chain stitch so nine plus one together we have a total of 10 half double crochet so the chain two here as i said it is the height of one half double crochet and we'll be counting the chain two as our first half double crochet so that is how you do your half double crochet stitch now if you want to know how to do the next row i do have a detailed tutorial on that so i have a separate playlist for crochet for st uh, basic stitches so in that i have uh, made separate videos on all the basic stitches there i have shown how to do the next row so if you're interested you can find the playlist uh, link in the description box or if you click on the i button that is popping up you can find that video okay so let's see the next stitch so the next stitch that we are going to do is the double crochet stitch so that is the us terminology uh, and in uk terminology double crochet is known as your treble crochet stitch okay so let's see so for this i have again made a chain stitch so i had started with a slip knot and this time i had put 12 chain stitches so if you want you can pause the video here uh, make a slip knot make 12 chain stitch and meet me and we can start the next stitch okay so as i said here i have made 12 uh, chain stitches now we'll start now for the double crochet what we'll do is we will skip three stitches from the hook not the stitch not the loop here but three stitches from the hook so this is first chain stitch second chain stitch third chain stitch so we are going to skip three chain stitches and insert our hook into the fourth chain stitch from the hook so this is my fourth chain stitch from the hook where i'll put my first double crochet now in case you find it difficult you can count from here so uh, the third chain stitch or you can say this is the fourth stitch so you can count nine chain stitch from the beginning and find that so either way is fine since you are beginner you might be a little bit confused so you can find it either way i'm going to skip three stitches one two three this is my fourth stitch there i'm going to place a double crochet now for a double crochet we'll do exactly how we did for a half double crochet we have to yarn over first insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch from the hook like this then pull up a loop so i'm just uh, pulling the working yarn through the first loop you have three loops on your hook 
now there is a slight difference between the half double crochet for a double crochet you yarn over and pull your working yarn through only the first two loops so I'm going to pull my yarn through just the first two loops I still have two loops left I'm again going to yarn over and pull it through the last two loops like this okay so this here is my double crochet like this I'm going to repeat it till the end of this row so this is my next stitch here I'll make a double crochet so first of all you have to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch this stitch has been taken care of I'm going to insert here I'm going to pull up a loop I have three loops on my hook I'll yarn over and pull the working yarn through only the first two loops not the last one just the two loops first two loops so yarn over and pull through the first two loops you have still two loops left again you yarn over and pull it through the last two loops so this is my next double crochet we'll do that once more so yarn over first so for a half double crochet and a double crochet you have to yarn over first insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop again you yarn over and pull through only the first two loops again you yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this is my next half double crochet we will do it one last time i'll do it with you so again yarn over insert your hook into that stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two all right so this is how our double crochet stitches is to be done so i'll just go on repeating till i reach the very end okay so if you want you can pause the video or just rewind it see how the double crochet is made and complete this row now if you remember we had skipped the first three stitches for this double crochet so the first three stitches here will be counted as a double crochet I'll, I'll explain in a bit so in case you make a mistake just as I said if you do any mistake just take your hook just undo this and you can repeat it so don't worry if you make a mistake you can rectify it quite nicely when it comes to double crochet you just have to undo your work and start again okay so I am just almost towards the end okay so here I have last stitch left I'll do that again with you so yarn over insert your hook into that last stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the last two so this is my last half double crochet okay now I'll just cut my yarn here so I'll make a chain one so making a chain one kind of closes or locks the stitch in place okay so our double crochet is done okay so we'll have nine double crochet and a chain three so this is a chain three this chain three is the height of one double crochet so we are going to count the chain three as one double crochet so this is one we should have nine double crochet here so one two three four five six seven eight nine nine double crochet plus your chain three together makes it ten double crochet so this is how you do a double crochet now we'll move on to the very last stitch okay so in the next stitch that we are going to see is the triple crochet stitch so triple crochet is the US terminology when it comes to UK terminology this stitch is known as your double treble crochet stitch okay so we'll start so for this what I've done is I have made a slip knot and this time I have put 13 chain stitches okay so make your 13 chain stitch and then we can start okay so for this here uh, for your triple crochet we have to skip four chain stitches and work our first stitch into the fifth stitch so skip four stitches one two three four and this here is my fifth stitch from the hook so I have to skip four stitches and I'll make my uh, triple crochet in the fifth stitch from the hook okay so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times not once but twice so this is once 
you make another yarn over so you have to yarn over two times i'll show you so yarn over once yarn over twice so we have two times done the triple crochet insert your hook into the fifth chain stitch from the hook skipping four stitches into the fifth stitch i'm inserting my hook and i'll pull up a loop like this just from the first loop now if you see i have four loops on my hook for a triple crochet you have to yarn over pull your working yarn through first two loops you have three loops left again yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull to the last three loops sorry last two loops so this is my triple crochet we'll do that again so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times one and two okay then insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you have four loops on your hook yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two so this is my next triple crochet like this i'm just going to complete this row as well so yarn over two times insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you have four loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two yarn over pull to the last two okay so this here is my triple crochet like this i'll just finish off this row making a row of triple crochet so if you want you can pause the video go back see how to make a triple crochet and complete the stitch anyway i'll just finish this off so here I have completed one full row of triple crochet. Now if you count, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 triple crochet and the chain stitches. So we had skipped 4 chain stitch. So if you calculate 4 chain stitch as 1 triple crochet, we again end up with a total of 10 triple crochet. So 4 chain stitch is the height of 1 triple crochet. So that is how you do a triple crochet now we'll just compare this with the other stitches so we'll just compare it with the other stitches so this is what we had made earlier we had started with 10 chain stitch okay i'll just keep it down so we have started with 10 chain stitch now if you compare this this is how the height is going to change so single crochet is made so this this here is our 10 single crochet we had skipped one stitch so in single crochet itself the chain one that we had skipped will not be treated as a stitch that will be just treated as a turning chain so here we have 10 single crochet now if you compare it with your half double crochet we had skipped two chain stitches and then made the half double crochet so chain two is the height of a half double crochet so it is a little bit longer than your single crochet now if you compare your double crochet here we had skipped three chain stitch so three chain stitch is the height of a double crochet and it is still taller than your half double crochet now the very last stitch here is your triple crochet for which we had skipped four chain stitch so four chain stitch is the height of one triple crochet and this is the longest or the tallest stitch among all these so these here are the basic stitches that you will be learned that you have to learn if you want to start crocheting okay now let's just see what to do once you learn your basic stitches so most of the patterns you just need these stitches or as i said you just need a combination of these stitches or a slight modification so i have actually done in my basic uh, that playlist how to do increases how to do decreases but all that depends on uh the basic stitches so once you learn this you can go ahead and see what is increases what is decreases all of that and again as i said you can find the playlist in which i have uh, shown how to do the second third rows also of all of these stitches okay now i just want to talk about the patterns that you can try after you learn the basic stitches so the patterns that you can try out once you learn the basic stitches would be very small simple crochet projects so this here is a very simple crochet flower so this is an absolutely beginner friendly pattern so you can just try out a very simple flower uh, crochet flowers are, are a great start to start 
experimenting with your stitches this again is a very simple flower made with double crochet and chain stitch so yeah do give them a try try to see how the basic stitches all come together to give a shape and all uh, other examples would be to start with shapes so this here is a granny square now granny square is the most popular and the evergreen uh, pattern in crochet so you can give a granny square a try you can make it in one color or in different colors you can even try out uh, to make a circle so once you learn uh, the circle you can adapt it in many different projects so you can make beanies bags baskets so all of this the basic is to start with a circle so you can start with some shapes very very simple projects because as a beginner you should be seeing some uh, results to get motivated so start with very simple quick projects so that you can see the results and try out other patterns okay so these are a few of my suggestions uh, of the patterns that you can try out i'll put all of these links in the description box if you're interested you can go through it i'll also uh, add a few more uh, videos uh, in a playlist which are more beginner friendly okay so if at all you make anything please do tag me on my social media handles i'll put my instagram facebook links all in the description box please do tag me i would love to see your progress so yeah that's all for today's video i hope it was useful and helpful if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing you can find all crochet related tutorials and patterns here on my channel and i'm really looking forward to see you more often here so that's all for today's video happy crocheting and bye, -bye.